Hi guys, assalamu alaikum and welcome back to my channel. My name is Sharon and yes, it's been a while since I've done a video so I'm kind of surprised I'm even filming to be fair. Um, a lot of stuff has happened. Um, I recently got a new job which alhamdulillah I'm so so grateful for and um, to be fair, my channel as it exists, um, it might not be uploaded regularly, it's more of a hobby. Um, I'm going to focus more on my time with my work um, and I'm also studying at the moment as well so it's all kind of happening back to back um, so yeah if I don't upload it's because I'm really busy um, but definitely follow me on my sh socials so Instagram is where you'll see me on my stories most of the times and Twitter I use mostly for work related stuff um, and I did want to actually film a whole video on my job and what I do um, so definitely let me know if you'd like to see a little bit more about my background in terms of my education and you know being a journalist and all of that so let me know if that's something you'd like to see but let's get on with the video today and talk about some of the products I got from Primark which I'm actually really excited about. It had felt like a really long time since I've been to Primark so I went twice and I um, kind of like just you know exchanged sizes for certain things um, and most of the stuff that you're seeing today is more workwear because obviously with a new job I was like okay I need to update my style a little bit more and actually get some work appropriate outfits I mean I always wear my long dresses which will never ever go away but like it was just nice to kind of look at some trousers, blouses, blazers and all of that stuff but I think I will actually start off with the makeup products that I bought and I actually held myself back a little bit and I actually only bought three items and the first one is actually the PS uh, blush um, and this is in the shade carnival and you can see it's like a super like pinky coral color this is one pan only and I have the shade rosewood already which I absolutely love and I was like do you know what it's high time I try a different color and I love it I'm wearing it on my cheeks today it's honestly stunning and for one pound you honestly cannot go wrong the other product i picked up which i am actually so pleasantly surprised with like i wasn't expecting great things from it i had heard previously that their bronzers were amazing um and i think someone actually said that it's gone a bit downhill uh with like new releases and new launches but I was super impressed with this. I'm also wearing this today. This is the Bronze Glow Matte Bronzing Powder. It's also £1. I love this. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to go and actually pick up a couple more of these. Because what happens with Primark products, they tend to disappear all of a sudden. You'll have a collection come out. You're like, oh my gosh, I love that stuff. And then it goes. Like I know someone that has 10 lip liners that they used to sell. Uh, in the shade coffee they don't have that lip liner anymore she literally bought all of them at once because she also knew they might not be around again um so this is in the shade suspect and there is another shade that they do in this and i think i picked up the deeper version anyway i really really like this like i was so surprised i was like initially i looked at it and i was like it's one pound should i should i get it and then I was like, actually, it is just one pound. Let's just get it and see what's what it's all about. Because in some cases, I've heard great things about their bronzers. And other cases, I've heard not so great things about the bronzers. So for me, it is definitely just beautiful. And I would definitely go and pick up a couple more of these just before they kind of disappear out of my life completely. Now, the other thing I picked up was the PS Pro Skin Barrier Cheek Tint. And I can't tell what shade this is. It doesn't actually say. But I know there's another shade in this collection. So I can't tell which one is which. This is like the more of the light terracotta colour. And I think the other one's more of a coral colour. I feel like this, to me, is just... I don't know. I've you, tried it out twice. But I feel like it just kind of disappears into nothingness. I don't know I just feel like I need to play around with this a little bit more so like when I rub it completely in it's got that sheen but it's kind of dis like it's lost all the color so I don't know I'm a bit on the fence this was actually three pounds so 
I'm hoping I can find another use for it. It is, um, it does have vitamin F, blueberry oil, uh, squalene as well. So, I don't know. Let's see. Anyway, moving on to the clothes that I actually picked up. And I'm excited because majority of the stuff I bought was on sale because I love buying stuff on sale. That's just who I am and that's not going to change anytime soon. First thing that I picked up was these trousers. These are literally like linen cotton style trousers. They're elasticated at the waist, got the nice belt to go along with it and they're like slightly tapered in. Um, and these were on sale from £10 to £5 and I thought these would look amazing with with just a plain blouse um, and maybe a blazer thrown on top with some nice heels or something like that. I love this colour, um, this is like my favourite colour and then I also found it in the white version and I thought do you know what, let's just get it because actually I'm thinking with my work attire I need to mix it up, be a bit more adventurous, play with fashion a little bit more. I feel like I've kept it safe for the longest time because I've had no reason to kind of play around with my style. Um, but yeah, this is exactly the same trousers but in the white version. Again, on sale for £5 and I thought these would be really nice to wear. Probably not during winter because it's quite, you know, um, light. But... I will still keep them around. Having said that though, when I'm going to be travelling on the underground, it gets so hot, so I might actually be wearing them during the winter, who knows. Another pair that I picked up were these. I love this one very much. And I'm so chuffed I managed to find it the second time I went round. This is another um, trousers. It's, um, I think these are high-waisted, I want to say. I don't know, but this has got the zip version. Um, again, it's kind of like nicely tapered slightly at the bottom and it's just a really nice print and I thought as a work trouser, just a plain black shirt or a white shirt and some heels would be beautiful with this. This went on sale from £15 to £7 and I feel like I kind of won with this one. This one. The material is really nice as well. It's like a cotton blend, I want to say, and it's just so, so good. And I'm really, really happy that I picked that up. Okay, we move on to this. This is the only thing that I picked up that was actually full price. And I'll be honest, I like it. It's nice. It's nice. Um, and I'm going to test this out with a couple of other different... Um, what do you call it? Um, I'm going to try it out with trousers and skirts and see which is best. But it's this jumper with the readily attached is this the called the peter collar i want to say and then it's also got like the fake looking like it's a two piece rather than a one piece uh with the shirt um yeah so this was actually 10 pounds and i got this color they did have it in a black and i think in like another light color but i thought this brown was really pretty i feel like this would be really nice for the winter i keep saying summer because we're still in kind of summer but it's not really summery i also picked up this which oof, i love this this is another blouse this is a ruffle blouse and i love it because look at the design and the detail on this it's um cinched in at the sleeve it's got the nice embroidery stuff here it's just really really pretty and it's a button button down this was on sale from 15 to 7 pounds and i and i thought oh from wait what's the price from 13 to 7 pounds and i thought you know what that's really really nice and that will go with a lot of different like trousers that i could wear and skirts as well um so that was a bargain and again cotton so it's going to be really nice and comfortable to wear um this is another blouse that i picked up now this is super oversized but i think when i wear it it doesn't look oversized it's supposed to be like that um and this is a color that i thought actually i've not really had this color in my wardrobe for a while so it's literally this like ruffled collared um cinched in at the sleeve no at the wrist um 
standard blouse honestly uh but the material is really nice and it does carry on a little bit longer at the bottom so like it will look nice tucked in or out on out on display no that sounds weird tucked in or like let loose <laughs> i don't know um but yeah i thought that one was also a really good purchase this i think was on sale let me just check i do like uh this was from 11 pounds to six pounds and yeah i thought do you know what i'm gonna test this out with a couple of different outfits and see if i'm happy with it but i think generally speaking just even plain black trousers works really nice with this um sort of blouse okay last two items and i think these two are probably one of my favorite pieces okay this one specifically so happy i found this was from 11 pounds to six pounds and it's kind of similar to the blue uh, blouse that i found but this is the white version without like the colored detail and it's just kind of like an oversized sleeve that cinched in i just thought this was really really nice and i actually ended up testing this out in the shops um so i tried the 14 on and the size 16 so with me i like to go a size bigger because then i have the length so that it kind of covers the front um a little bit better so that's why i went ended up going for the 16 otherwise the 14 actually fit me fine it's just i'm a bit conscious of um like the front part of my trousers so that's why i get it a little bit looser uh, but i think this would be really nice with skirts and midi skirts are things that i'm on the hunt for now like honestly i love midi skirts and i think it actually suits me a little bit better than trousers does but also i've not really experimented with trousers that much and that's why i'm trying to experiment with trousers a little bit more and see how i can style them out i don't know some things just don't look right on me but i think it looks beautiful on, on others and yeah we're just gonna test it out um so also do follow me on my tiktok as well as my instagram because i'll probably be doing like some reels and like showing you my like outfit of the weeks um while i'm at work so there's always that to look forward to but i don't know how much i'm going to be posting on my channel but we'll see hopefully every once in a while i will have something to share and don't forget that my love for makeup is not going anywhere so that's why i recommend checking me out on my instagram because everything new that i do purchase will go on that and i will share it on that and yeah it's just obviously i'm doing something slightly different at work but my hobby for makeup will not go away okay last thing i picked up was this dress and i thought for five pounds bargain it's a nice plain black dress actually it's crinkled uh black dress um it's i think it's quarter sleeve the th three quarter sleeves yeah and yeah i just thought this was really nice so i actually picked up the size 12 in this and i thought it was so oversized so i ended up going back and changing it for a 10 because i liked that it was a little bit freeing but not too freeing um and then yeah i just thought this was really nice again a classic to have in your workwear collection so chuff that i found this and i'm actually really excited to actually experiment and test out the waters on workwear because generally speaking long dresses have been my go-to for a really long time but now that i'm in an office working it's like oh my gosh there's endless opportunities to test the waters on what works and what doesn't and i also bought some leather trousers which wow i don't know how i managed to do that like because it's so not like me but i really liked them and i think they work really well with some of these blouses like i can't wait i'm not gonna lie it's gonna be very exciting to test the waters out um but yeah that's pretty much the end of this video i hope you enjoyed it um yeah a lot of stuff is just going on and i feel like it needs a whole separate video on what like has been going on in my more private personal lives um but potentially i will do like a get ready with me at some point and like do a full-on discussion because let me tell you there is a lot to talk about but in the meantime i hope you enjoyed this video and definitely give me a follow on my instagram because 
that is ideally where I'll be mostly and Twitter as well. Um, wish me luck on the new job. I'm quite nervous but excited at the same time. And yeah, have a fantastic and wonderful day. And I'll see you guys when I see you. I don't even know what the schedule is going to be like. I have to see what works like first before I can like pencil you guys in and pencil actually creating content um, for YouTube. Uh, but hopefully I don't give it up completely. Fingers crossed I don't. Um, but I can't tell you how busy I am going to get or not. Like I don't actually know yet. Um, so I just kind of need to get stable with the job. And then I can kind of plan around it. But yeah, I hope you have a fantastic day and I shall see you guys in the next video. Bye!